Hello everyone, praise the Lord, Maranatha. So I'm finally able to do this video. I was reminded by my friends Stuti and Mahima that I should start doing these English videos and today I have taken a note that I would be doing. Uh, I mean, I would be at least releasing a video for every week. So today I want us to uh, concentrate and meditate upon the prayer of Augur. Like from the book of Proverbs 30th chapter from 7th verse, the things he asks in prayer are so different from what we would ask today. The modern prayers are so different. So he's specific about what he wants in life. Here it is what he says. Two things I ask of you, O Lord. Do not refuse me before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty or riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I might have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I might become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. So uh, first and foremost thing, he says, uh, please grant this to me before I die. Uh, I think every prayer we pray, uh, uh, we should consider it as our last prayer since um, we do not know when we leave this earth. We do not know what's going to happen next. I've recently seen a video on, uh, I mean, it went, it went viral on social media and on news, uh, on television. Uh, a police officer, he was playing badminton and he suddenly collapses and people around had acted right away. They checked and he wasn't breathing and they took him to the hospital, nearby hospital and the doctor said, even before you brought him here, he was dead. And he wouldn't have ever thought, the police officer wouldn't have ever thought that he would be dying. If he had known his day would have been different. And uh, I mean, I mean, imagine if he had known when would be our last day, we would be sweating about it. Like I would be dying in so many days, like in so and so number of days. But it's also a blessing to not know, but we should be careful. Uh, death is in inevitable. We are all going to face it. And what is going to come, we are going to be taken up in clouds. So we should be careful about our prayers to God. And if we think that it, this is going to be our last prayer, the prayers would be a lot different. If that police officer had known that would be his last day, maybe he would have spent time with his, fam with his family, with his children. It could be many things what he would have, might have done. So our prayer towards God should be a very careful one and we should consider it to be a last prayer it's a communication with god youtube itself i've seen one uh, heartbreaking story is that a friend told her friend that i never want to see your face uh, next day she receives the news that her friend had died on an accident so uh, and uh, she regrets uh, she says that she regrets uh, speaking such kind of words unkind words uh, to her friend so uh, if he had known if she had known if she had known that would be the last time she's seeing a friend her words might be different so uh, even when we talk to people around us uh, we need to be careful about how we talk around us so here uh, our group prays do not uh, refuse me before i die uh, so our prayer should be in such a way i feel so and he says uh, he reveals his spiritual need keep falsehood and lies far from me like he's saying something like normal common atheism i don't want anything which brings me which makes me to be away from god which makes me against the word of god or against the lord so we also i think it's very important that we pray such kind of prayer because we go to church we listen to the sermons we pray to god we worship him and sometimes uh, just because of one doubt or I have seen uh, such people in life like just because they couldn't understand a verse from the Bible or something they had disowned God they were like no everything is wrong since I don't understand it so I do not follow Jesus like it's such kind of thing so we need to be careful uh, there are certain things in the Bible that maybe we didn't understand but one thing we can understand is that God had come into this world as a human and died for us on the cross and he was kept in the tomb resurrected he had he ascended into heaven and he shall soon gonna come again and we need to base our foundation on that even though we understand other things or not we need to be careful about we understand this thing and have a firm foundation 
so argue prayers for a spiritual need and uh, even uh, uh, in the bible if you see in matthew 6 chapter 13 verse the prayer jesus teaches to his disciples he says lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil uh, it's not an option but we need to for sure pray to god about our spiritual health and that has to be a foremost priority in our life and the other things he says is that i do not want i don't want to have poverty or riches so it's a, a lot different from this is a quite bit different from uh, all the modern uh, prayers in our life like i even uh, we pray for so many things but no we do not ask lord do not give me poverty we say do not give me poverty but we wouldn't say do not give me riches it's a very difficult prayer to be uh, uh, prayed so it's a very bit different from every kind of modern prayers of today and uh, which focuses only on good health good wealth multiple blessings constant success and perpetual prosperity so it's a lot a lot different from the modern deep prayers so, uh, but we might be thinking like we think how can i pray against something which i work so much for but we miss the point here he says agur says god give me my daily bread give me what is required agur essentially prays lord i want what you want for me uh, he says give me what is required for the day even jesus says in the prayer uh, like the prayer we read, uh, the prayer which he taught his disciples, Give me this day my daily bread. Thy will be done on earth as it is done, as it is in heaven. So uh, it's uh, a little, uh, I mean, we can find the similarities between the prayer Jesus taught to his disciples and the prayer of Agur. So he says, don't give me uh, poverty, nor uh, give me riches. Give me what is required for my day-to-day -day life so that i can live a happy life so this is something we need to understand and uh, pray in our daily life having too much we uh, i think uh, we can surely forget having too less we can actually uh, not look to god like we might curse at him or steal like both the things like having too much gives us pride and greed pride and greed and having too less makes us uh, steal both the things are against the God and uh, one more thing in Philippians 4 chapter 12 to us we see that I know what it is to be uh, in need and I know what it is to have plenty uh, Paul says he knew poverty and he knew prosperity and regardless of which state he was in and he had learned to be content so the main uh, thing is that we need to be content with our life so uh, the thing I want to ask you is when was the last time you had prayed and what was your prayer to God? Does it have a spiritual, I mean, he Agur prayed for two things. Like he was sure about what he was asking God. So the first thing was for spiritual blessing and the second thing was for temporal blessings. What is your and my prayer consists of? Does it have only temporal blessings? Like we ask God, give me that, give me this give me this constant success in my business or give me knowledge to uh, go through the world or uh, what are we asking god a uh, first and priority should be the foremost priority should be for spiritual blessing uh, so it's important that all the knowledge which belongs uh, temporal tempor temporary they just just end after a few years whatever is it whatever the blessing it is it just ends here but the spiritual blessing takes us to heaven. So we need to be careful about what we are asking. We should consider it is our last prayer and pray to God. So imagine if it's your last day today, how are you going to pray? Let your every prayer be as if it's the last prayer that you wouldn't be alive the next moment. So let's conclude with what are we praying for? Is it for spiritual or temporal? You, need, you have to pray for temporal. You need to pray about your worldly life but it's more important to pray about our spiritual life that's all for today bye bye